Eugene with Verdi here today. Today we're going to be going through an aerometer watermark soil moisture probe installation. Super quick, super easy, depending on how compliant your soil is. So usually the, the probes will look like this and uh, you'll get a decent amount of cable with it. The thing about these soil moisture sensors is that you're going to be installing them at your given depth. For vineyards, we usually want to aim about 18 inches to 24 inches as that's kind of where the active roots are for soil like this. And you can also order these install an installation kit, which should come with something that looks like this, which is an auger, or you can make something yourself if you're crafty. You can, or you can use a shovel, but it, it does go a little bit easier with one of these. And then you also have a sensor installation rod. We would put the sensor, once the hole is augered or dug, we will put the sensor at the bottom here. It connects nice and snugly like this. We'll run the wire up the shaft and then we will deposit by pressing down on the plunger here and it just pushes off the probe into the hole. Now, a few notes on how to initially set up your soil moisture sensor. The sensor needs to be uh, properly conditioned before you install it into the ground. Ideally, three days wet and dry cycles. So what you would do is put this in a bucket at home and let it sit overnight in the morning, take it out of the bucket, let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour and then put it in water again and then repeat this for three days. And then on your last day before you install, make sure it's in water overnight and fully wet as you go to install it. It would also help if your soil's a little wet during the installation, but this is not necessary. Or if you want to do it quick and dirty, you just let it sit overnight in water and it should be fine for installation the next day. This will just affect how uh, the first initial readings of the probe. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to install a aerometer watermark soil moisture sensor. So I'm just gonna leave the sensor here on the ground and then go ahead and auger my chosen spot in the vineyard. I'm choosing here because I wanna be in between two drip emitters and in between two plants here. I don't wanna be immediately underneath an emitter because that's going to give potentially an overly wet response to the soil and I wanna see how the water percolates to that particular spot. If I'm lucky, we'll meet no rocks on the way down and we'll get to this red mark, which is about 18 inches. Perfect, that was really easy. So it's important to, while you're augering, to make sure that the auger is nice and vertical. This will give the most accurate readings for your water profile. Now you wanna go ahead and load the probe at the end of your the installation rod. Remove the tape, run the wire along the shaft of the installation rod. So we'll do this off screen, but before you install it, you wanna make sure that there is, you wanna make a slurry out of the soil and some water, and then you're going to pre-fill your hole with the slurry and then backfill the hole with the slurry this allows for optimal contact between the soil matrix and the probe uh, matrix so that they create a more accurate reading. So after, install, after putting in the slurry into the hole, we're going to install the probe. So I just put the hole down the, uh, down the hole and now I press on the plunger, it is let go of the probe and now the probe is installed nicely in the ground. After back, backfilling your hole with some slurry, you are then gonna backfill the rest of the hole with some soil to make sure that there's not just a hole sitting in the middle of your vineyard. Alternatively, instead of just having the bare wire installed in the hole like we have here, you can also choose to run it through some PVC piping and leave the PVC piping in the hole to protect the wire as it comes out of the ground, just like we did on this installation back here. We also chose to protect it with some rebar and some tape and flagging just to give the uh, operators who do a little bit of groundwork here a little bit more visual warning just in case they get a little bit too close to the vines when working the ground. So the nice thing about this aerometer watermark is that it comes with just an easy two cable connector. So after burying our soil uh, moisture sensor here, we've run the cable through the vineyard infrastructure and now have pre-installed this, the telemetry, the Verity microblock controller. Every aerometer watermark ordered through Verity is gonna come with one of these adapters. It adapts the digital signal to analog allowing the telemetry to read the sensor, uh, interpret it, and send it back to the Verity network. It comes with two green wires that are going to be the ones that you're connecting to. They're very similar, in fact, almost identical to the ones that are coming out of the aerometer watermark. What you're going to do is attach the fully green cable to the fully green cable on the aerometer, 
watermark and you're going to attach the green and white cable to the green and white cable from your arometer watermark. Once those are attached together, then we're going to connect the three prong connector to the sensor, one of the sensor ports on the Verity microblock. So we're going to show you how easy it is to install the arometer watermark here. It's as easy as press fitting a few wires together through one of these 3M cable connectors. These are really handy because all you need is a is a something to press it with and the wires you want to connect. The watermarks come with a green and white cable, the green and white cable and a solid green cable. And so do the adapters. The adapters come with a solid green cable and a green and white cable. You are going to connect the solid green to the solid green and the green and white to the green and white. So I'm going to show you how easy it can be, especially with these 3M connectors here. So you just place them, place the two similar wires in the chambers like this, make sure they're all make their way all to the end, all the way to the end, and then grip it with your tool here and just press. And now the cables are connected and they're covered in dielectric grease, which will help protect the connection as well. Now we're gonna do the green and white to the green and white, and then again just fit the cable into the connector and then fit the other cable into the connector, hold it, and then press fit. And now it's connected and protected. It's perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and secure this installation with some UV resistant zip ties. So I'm just going to wrap it like this so that it's relatively neat for a vineyard install. And then take two zip ties I know that this post is going to require its two zip ties to get around the circumference of it. So I will make sure my wire is taut before I connect it. Make sure it's pressed up against the post. Bring my zip tie around and just tighten the zip ties. With these vineyards, we want to make sure that the ca no cables are sticking out too much into the row as they do come by and trim the vines. So you don't want to get cut up in any trimmers. Make sure you don't zip tie down your three prong connector. And we did use only one on this one, but wouldn't be a bad idea to connect it to secure it with a second set of straps for redundancy. And once your zip ties are snug, you can use whatever tools you want to really tighten them down. In this case, use this guy here. You then want to go ahead and cut the zip ties if you so choose. We like to do this for aesthetics. Try not to cut your wires. Double check everything is connected. So in this case, the adapter red wire is gonna be unused. Make sure you clean up your garbage. So now we have this three prong connector ready to connect to the three prong connector on the sensor. I'm, in this case, I'm connecting to the sensor one. There are two arrows on the connectors helping you line it up and then just thread the enclosure and now your sensor is connected to the Verity telemetry. Then you, all you have to do is go ahead and go onto the Verity app, install, add the device onto your farm. It's a quick like, two minute process. Probably the longest portion is gonna be deciding what to name the particular sensor. And then you are all done. Within a few hours, the sensor and telemetry should be sending data to the network and you should see data show up within an hour or two. With these soil moisture probes, it might take a few days for the data to start to make sense as the process of digging and the hole you created settles around the sensor and possibly a few irrigation events might help the sensor start to collect meaningful data. Now to add the sensor on the Verity dashboard, you will navigate to the dashboard and it should look something like this. 
but with your farm there instead. And then you go to add device. It then opens up your camera and then I'm going to now scan, just scan the QR code by facing the camera towards the QR code here. It has now picked up the ID, as you can see, of that particular device. And now, and it also has the, the letters here, JUM728, which is exactly what is affixed to the post there. You will then click next, indicate what kind of sensor it is. In this case, we've, we've installed a Sprout sensor only block controller. I select this. I then indicate on the map where I am. I then click next and then I choose the zone and then I choose the sensor. It's a Taros 10. All the sensors that we have integration for will be on there. And then you click save. You can also choose to name that particular sensor if you have names for your block. Thanks for joining us.